More teams could learn a thing or two about what Beecher and Byron did this evening. A few weeks ago, this game wasn't even on the calendar, but with both teams being in the top five in the AP poll and both in need of makeup games, the two came together to make a fantastic impromptu appetizer ahead of the postseason. It's the battle of the big cats as the Bobcats and Tigers square off. Byron looking to bounce back after their first loss of the season Friday against Rock Christian's defense showed out in this one as the Bobcats put this ball in the sixth row of the Byron student section in this one in the second half. Let's head into the final 90 seconds now. Tigers with defense of the run as Carson Booser steals it and Ryan Tucker gets it moving and picks up the and one Tigers trail 48 45 but they're not out yet. Tucker team high 23 Tigers fighting like crazy looking to stay in this one as Casson Newton hits a big triple as Byron still trails by three though 52 to 49 still not done as Newton Gets rejected, but then is going to take it all the way to the rack himself to cut the deficit there before calling a timeout. But the visitors would get it done at the line. Beecher remains a perfect 26-0 after a 20-0 start for Byron. They're now 21-2 on the year. And we had a doubleheader in Byron this evening as the girls hosted Auburn and the most adorable pre-K class did a fabulous rendition of the Pledge of Allegiance and National Anthem. Let's get rolling in this one as we start with Malia Morton making a great roll to the rim here to make it four zip in the first quarter on the other end. Knights with a response as Ava Gray, an impressive dish to Elizabeth Mueller to cut into the deficit. Tigers continuing to find success at the rim as Gro Herring doesn't get the bat the bucket here, but Morton is there for the board and the score. Tigers lead it 9-4. to four. Byron would be too much in this one as Aubrey Fuller nearly takes it the length of the floor after a great pass for the layup. Byron would end up on top, but the Knights would keep it close as the home team wins it by four.